Okay, I was not going to do a little flea bay edition this morning. I was going to at least wait until tomorrow, but it seems like when I look at these on the weekends, why I uh, I've already looked at a few things that are worth talking about earlier in the in the week, whether it be Friday or Saturday or whatever the case may be. But it seems like when I look on Sunday mornings, why there's always some stupidity that shows up that I just really feel like I need to point out. So I've got some in my save list here. And let's just go through these. And of course, I think they're they're from mostly from sellers that I recognize. They're either way overpriced or um, just misrepresented. So this is my save list that I have gotten offers on over the last few days. And I think there was about four of them here this morning that were offers, which just tells me that these were so overpriced that um, the sellers knew they were way overpriced. So they've sent out offers on them. One of them is a Atlas Lathe follower rest. Um, let me look and see. I believe this is a six inch, does it say? Uh, it just says in good condition, but it gives no other information than that. The casting number is a 9-396, it looks like. Um, I think that's a 10 inch. I'm not sure though. That may only be this. Yeah, that's probably a 10 inch from looking at it. Anyway, um, and I'm not going to go in and look at these other than just maybe throw a picture of them up. The original listing price was $285. Well, we know I don't think they're worth that much. They're, in reality, a really nice clean one should be worth about $125. They listed it at $285 and free shipping, and the offer was $275, so $10 off. You know, that's still, that's at least twice what it's worth. Um, you know, and there's offer expires in one day, 20 hours. So I just got this this offer earlier today. Um, same seller right below it, Atlas number 700 taper attachment. Now this is a tool room attachment that goes on it. I realistically say these are worth about, you know, $250, maybe $300 for the tool room attachment. The standard one, you know, 150 bucks is really all they're worth. Uh, this one was listed for 485, and he, he's given me an offer of 470 bucks. You know, same thing. Got the offer earlier today. Now, as a side note, these little follower rests, and and I've I've got um, patterns that I've been working on for I believe it's a six inch. I'll have to go back and look, but it hasn't been a real hasn't been a real um, important one for me to do because I don't realistically think they're that useful an accessory. Now, I don't play with them on the, the Atlas Lays at all at this point in time because mine is set up as a turret Lays, so um, follower rest is not really a anything that fits in with that, but if I relate it to, somebody's got their motorcycle leaving. Yeah, neighbor's going. Um, if I relate it to my Sheldon Lathe, I have a factory follower rest for that. I think in the last, you know, 20 years, I've maybe used it three times they're they're realistically they're a neat accessory to have and if you've got them maybe you're gonna find a use for them for me personally why I don't um, I don't utilize it that often you know it's just not it's not something to give two hundred seventy five dollars for the taper attachment realistically about the same I feel about the same although I think they have a little more use than the than the follower rest do so anyway on down Atlas 7b shaper uh, this one was actually this one I think was just listed yesterday too and this is a different seller I, I recognize both of the names on you know from both of these sellers here uh, originally listed at $2,800 which it's a it's not a bad looking complete shaper I believe it was complete there might have been a couple of things that didn't really set quite right to me but all in all it was a pretty good complete shaper I think it had a rotary table with it and I believe there was a vice on it uh, offer came in at two thousand dollars you know I still think that's at least five hundred and probably closer to seven hundred fifty or eight hundred dollars too much you know that in this day and age as complete as this is on a stand and everything it probably should be worth you know twelve maybe fifteen hundred dollars and I I think that's too much but nonetheless um, those are the only ones that really stood out to me I've got one on a I, I've got a, an offer that's expired on a uh, TH42 lathe, and I don't necessarily recognize this seller. Um, it was listed at 
fifteen hundred dollars they offered it up fourteen or thirteen hundred dollars and that offers already expired uh, listing ends in another 13 hours here's that um, ridiculous green color that or teal green horizontal mill um, that says fully refurbished and outstanding vice and arbors we talked about this I said it was strictly a parts machine it was worth about you know maybe 800 bucks for parts as a rebuild and this is a seller that's noted for I think ripping people off uh, recently listed at $3,100 he sent me a, a offer at 2600 which is that offers expired that was several days ago and um, then there's a handle down here that was at $3,499 and which is not an atlas at all but even though it probably was on there you know they offered it at $32 that was expired so anyway that's what uh, that's what I've received offers on and I'll try and go back and throw the just a one picture of those up there just so you've got them for a reference um, looking under Atlas parts and there again we're not going to spend a whole lot of time Atlas shapers first today that's where that um, 7b shaper is that I received the offer on so and that's the latest listing there that's new underneath the underneath shapers won't go into that um, you can go back and look at that if you're interested in it if we go to Atlas Mills um, 7x7 seven seven cross slide table XY Atlas Craftsman Milling Drill with Palm Gervais, 450 bucks, no bids. I didn't even look at that. Now here's one that did interest me. And down below here there's some, there's some 3D printed stuff and some stuff like that that I think are worthless investments. But um, table plugs for the, for the mill, you know, they're, no, it's foolish. This one caught my attention and we'll do a build on this one. I do not have a six inch lathe, but here is a Atlas Craftsman six inch lathe milling tool holder with drawbar. New old stock, unused. And this is from a seller that's noted for doing this crap. And the description says Atlas Craftsman six inch lathe milling tool holder and drawbar. New old stock, unused. Um, this is. Let, let's just go and look at the big pictures on this and we'll talk about it for just a minute. Um, now this I believe is a a uh, Fowler tool holder. Now these should be a Morris taper number two. Um, Atlas Craftsman six inch lathe, three eighths diameter tool holder and drawbar. New old stock, unused. This may very well be unused, um, but this is this is a total rip off here. The only thing these are is you've got a three eighths rod. This threaded on the end. These are threaded 3 8 16 just like the milling machine is. It has a uh, Atlas handle on it, which I'll talk about in just a minute. And then it has a sleeve on here. Well, all you've got to do is take a piece of 3 8 bar, whether it's standard cold roll or basically anything else that's going to hold up. Thread a 3 8 16 Where I don't have them, I can't give you the length dimension. But all you want is something that when it's threaded into the back of the tool holder, you know, set this up in your in your lathe loosely, thread your shaft into the back, and decide what length you need for the hand wheel to extend and a spacer, and you can adjust your final depth to a spacer or the final length of that spacer to adjust the the depth of it as long as you make your spacer long enough and have enough engagement here. Um, the hardest part of this to me for the home shop that's just getting started, or if you've just got a lathe, is cutting the uh, slot for the keyway in here in the shaft itself to hold your uh, hand wheel in place and realistically for a one-off thing you can either pin the handle to it which may be a good thing maybe a bad thing you know you may have problems depending on the condition of the hand wheel it may want to break out there but it could be pinned it could be um, drilled and tapped if it's not already drilled and tapped to bear on that keyway um, or it could be your drawbar could be made long enough to where you could actually put a nut on the outer, outer end of it to hold it in position. So you've got all kinds of options there. This is not a big deal at all. Uh, let's see. Let's look at the rest of the pictures. Yeah, I believe this is a Fowler, Fowler drawbar, which is a fairly high-end drawbar. It looks to be in good condition. You see some you see some staining on all of this. So you know new and unused it may be unused it may be new old stock but it's been beat around it's been rusted as crap and we'll see that more here later on um, you know this is this is all kind of stained up your handles not in great shape now as far as tool holders Fowler tool holder fairly high-end for what we're gonna get 
maybe it's more accurate than an imported tool holder the reality is on an atlas lathe on a six inch lathe you're not going to be able to utilize the full precision of that of that tool holder anyway so it doesn't really matter you know you can go to Shar's tool and i just looked this morning you can buy a three eighths uh three eighths half and i believe five eighths tool holder I, I don't know if they had more than those three or not in stock for 21.90 so you got 22 bucks there and a little bit of shipping which you know 30 35 bucks if you're building the rest of it even if you want to find an original handle and we'll see a better picture of it down here um, look at look at this rust on here and if you look here maybe not in this picture but you can look in some of the other pictures and look at them closely you can see where this has been polished down they've taken a piece of sandpaper scotch bright or something and just ran a longitudinally to take off part of this rust and pitting and crap that's on here so um, don't get sucked in by this if you're buying one of these you should be able to buy it for 75 bucks and you know 10 bucks shipping 85 bucks at the outside in your door you look at these hand wheels standard hand wheel now these have always kind of um, fooled me a little bit because I'm used to looking at these on the mill and, and the attachments like the index centers for on the mill and that kind of stuff where we've got a handle coming out here well with Atlas's uh, practices of keeping the minimum number of, of parts you know and using them across the across the line of machines they just omitted the handle on this one so this I believe is correct I've seen several of these and every time I question well where's the handle or you know where's a little knob that goes in here I believe they've just I, I've not seen a drawbar a six inch drawbar that has had that handle on it and they've all been like this as far as I can remember so um, they just omitted that handle and it's a standard uh, I don't remember what the number is but it's a standard uh, six inch hand wheel you know like I say it's the same one that goes on the on the mills uh, it's utilized on the mill, it's used on the mill index centers, a few things like that. So anyway, standard handle. You should be able to find these even if you're looking at them on Flea Bay in decent condition for, you know, 25 bucks, 30 bucks, you know, 35 in the door is all you should be paying for these even though they list them for more. So, um, and there's your, there's your uh, tool holder. This is just a collar. Uh, probably three-quarter maybe one I think it's probably only three-quarter inch diameter and then you can use whatever length is appropriate for for sizing your drawbar the bevels on the end of these let's see if the next one's the last pictures no the last picture is not any better um, if we go back here if we go back here and look at these um, look at the spacer all it is is a spacer to set your length you can adjust it to your particular one the bevels on the end these look to be probably a 45 degree angle it's not that important as long as it does not lock into your you know fall in and lock in position in the back of your spindle and uh, as long as it centers up in the in the spindle you know fairly fairly nice sliding fit on your internal shaft there on your through bolt that's all there is to it so um, you know this one what, what did I say they wanted 125 bucks they're worth half that half 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 yeah fifteen dollars shipping they want 125 130 140 dollars they want for this it's worth half 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 that's all I think I remember seeing under milling machines that we either haven't already talked about or is worth talking about and if we look at lathes Yeah, there's a couple of new parts here that I'm not really going to look at because I don't think they're worth looking at. Um, 3D printed extended chip guard cover for a six inch. Yeah, like that's even halfway necessary. Sixteen fifty and five dollars shipping. Don't waste your time on that shit. Okay, there's only one other thing that we haven't really talked about that I think is definitely worth noting, and this is one of those ripoffs. This is just flat one of those ripoffs. Atlas Craftsman 10 12 inch lathe counter shaft pulleys, two and four step spindle and bearings, pre owned $150 or best offer, and $47.65 shipping. This is a new listing. This is from a, I think I recognize this seller, got quite a bit of feedback, but nothing, nothing really major. Um, yeah, $150 and $47.65 shipping. 
No. No, 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 no. We'll look at the pictures in a minute here. Alice Craftsman, 10, 12 inch lathe, counter shaft pulleys, two and four step spindle and bearings. Four step pulley has a hole through the smallest step as shown in pics. This is a busted piece of shit. What are we thinking? All we'll do is look at the big pictures here. I'm not going to zoom in. You can go back and look for yourselves. This, if we look closely in here, and there's one other picture that does show it right in this area here, it's busted out through there. And I speculate it's busted out because they were trying to disassemble this. And when we look up here, this is all rusty and, you know, they've got it off far enough to get some space in there. They tried to beat this pulley off, I think, downward. And I think we can see it a little bit better in the next picture. Yeah, they tried to drive this pulley off towards the larger pulley is my speculation. The reason I say that and I say they, they just busted this section out right in here because when we look right here at this little chip, it's still there. You know, if this had been run any length of time or had been utilized, why that would have that little flake would have busted off of there. And where this grease is caked up here, we wouldn't have that starting to separate there. They tried to drive this off that direction and it busted out that section so they quit. This is all just a rusted up piece of crap. Um, you know, look at all the rust on here it's showing through the around the collars on this bearing and everything where, you know, this is not an indication of, you know, it has no, um, it has no bearing on the bearing surface of it there, but it shows that the whole thing's corroded. It's seized on these, on these pulleys. Um, the only thing that's worth having now, these, these, um, carriers would clean up and new bushings could be installed. They would be fine. Uh, this larger pulley is in good shape. The shaft is probably okay, although it's going to be pitted and everything's actually seized on there. So you'd have quite a bit of work there. But all you're buying would be the collars, the larger pulley, and maybe the shaft and the collars. Um, you know, it's worth half. It's worth half. It's worth 60, 75 bucks. You know, 80 bucks in your door is all it's worth you're, you're buying. And they're trying to get 150 and almost another 50 shipping. Uh, uh, dumbasses. Um, you got a good pulley here. You know, the last time we talked, I think I talked about this the other day, although I was having some audio problems, so I don't know if I released that video or not. Somebody was trying to sell one of these larger pulleys for like 80 bucks, and it had one of the spokes busted out. Just, they'll sell you whatever crap they can, and this stuff is garbage. Garbage, garbage, garbage. Yeah, see, they just show you those two pictures of that rust busted out section. Well, that one you can kind of see, maybe that's it there. This stuff is junk, you know, for the parts that you can get off of here that are usable after you go through and rebuild them, clean them up, and hopefully you can get them apart without damaging anything else. Um, you know, the only parts that you can possibly salvage is going to be this larger pulley, these two bearing carriers, maybe the shaft, and maybe the collars. 80 bucks in the door. So anyway, that's all I got for you today. We're going to go out, work in the garden. I'm working on some molding flasks today. I am finishing up a couple of shaper guards and a couple of oil pans for on the shaper. And um, actually, I'll probably have to come in. I don't know that I've got oil pans loaded on the website yet, but they will be done today. And hopefully you guys enjoy the rest of your weekend. And comment suggestions, leave them in the comment section for me below. I'm still looking here. Um, and as always, guys, thanks for taking the time to watch.